All right, you guys, as you know, the holiday season is fast approaching, and for many, that means fancy holiday parties. Oh, that is very fun. So we brought in King Brothers Clothiers from Minneapolis to help figure out what should the men in our life be wearing. Twins Kenny and Danny are joining us in the studio. Hi, you guys. Hello, Hello guys. So Good nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Nice to be You're back. You're wearing your King Brothers outfit, huh? I am wearing my King Brothers. We could just model this thing off right oh, now. Yes. Oh, look this at is what this. the men in your life should wear. This is it. Yeah, yeah look at that. I mean... I always love the the inner panel. We always have such a fun time like picking out the inner panel. And this one's got little skulls on it with with some flowers, uh, you know. It evens it out. It evens it spooky out. but sweet. All the yeah. details. Yeah. Okay, so as guys are kind of thinking about shifting in a different season, mm -hmm. what do you encourage your clients to think about in terms of creating their wardrobe? Because I you know, guys want it to be easy too. Yeah, that's the, for sure. They want it to be easy, but the thing that we have to remember, it's just like any other thing that we buy, especially living in a state where we have all four seasons, mm -hmm. is not everything you're, you have is gonna work all year round. Yeah, and that's you okay. You really do have to think about seasonality. And it's fine, it's normal that you need a snowblower and a lawnmower, <laughs> you know? <laughs> These are things that you need, they're important, they're gonna make your life easier, there's functional elements to them as well, but you, you do have to have them both, and you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's the same with, with clothing as well. Winter coats, obviously you're not wearing those in the summertime, but the same is true of like suiting pieces as well. It's great to have a blue suit, a gray yeah. suit, mm -hmm. a black suit. You can wear those to different types of things no matter the time of year. But seasonal things are really important as well because not only will they help you keep warm, but it also adds a nice element to your closet as well. Um, and, and it's always nice to have something that you can you can mix and match with some different things to help take the lifespan and extend it a little bit. Yeah, here. and show some interest. Like, everything you guys are wearing yeah. is really interesting. If it was three guys in blue suits, you know, it'd be like how you guys are with your dad vests. Like, yeah. There's all these guys <laughs> in blue dad vests. Yeah. Well, to further your point, you know, it's, it's easy for us, I think, to wrap our heads around having, like, a linen suit or, like, a linen yeah. shirt. And you're like, well, that's very seasonal. That's, like, spring, mm -hmm. summer, and parts of fall. Well, we should have that same thing for the winter. So, um, Absolutely. The one thing we talked about was just that you get an invitation, let's say one of these little soirees that you're going to, and it says, let's say it says black tie. Yeah. Like, what does that mean for black tie? Like, what kind of options can you have for black tie? We get this question all the time, and it's interesting because the answer will change depending on where you live. We're going to talk just about being here in the Midwest. Okay. okay. So black tie and black tie optional, which we will talk about next, those are used really interchangeably here. They're technically not. Black tie really traditionally is tuxedo. And that's it. Okay. And that's it. No Not a black suit. Yeah, when we, say, when we say black tie, we're thinking tuxedo. Like, forget about the fact that we're saying tie. Yeah. Black tie equals tuxedo. Okay. That's what we're talking black about. Black tie optional, though. Black tie optional is, again, used interchangeably because that could mean black suit with black tie. It opens the, the element for you to wear a black suit, but about half the people will probably be in a tux. Okay. And the reason I say it's used interchangeably is because here in the Midwest, we just have a, a, a little bit more of a casual mindset. If you and were so, like in the East Coast or something, it might be different. Right. East Coast black tie different. is strict tux and only tux. Well, but here in the Midwest, I know. <laughs> <laughs> here in the Midwest, though, you do have a little bit more flexibility in that way. So okay. if you had a, a go-to black suit, you really could get away with wearing it to most black tie events that you go to as long as you're wearing a black tie okay. as well. Yeah. How about, so the one that I think is the most popular is like, the, is the business formal. That feels confusing. It does feel I know. confusing. So here's, and again, there's some subjectivity in all of these. Um, our, our thought here with business uh, formal is, business formal is suit. You wanna be in a suit and tie. Okay. But it doesn't have to be black. In fact, I don't think that it should be black. If they wanted you in a black suit, they would say black tie optional. So like what Danny's wearing, does this, this count? Work. Yeah, yeah I mean, like it's a little really playful. A suit. It's a little playful, um, it, but it, it could work. Okay. I would probably, if I were the one receiving the invitation, keep it in like a dark and relatively solid, maybe a little bit of a texture. Mm. Um, that's probably what I would do. So what I'm wearing here, the reason I'm dressed like uh, a magician <laughs> is because... <laughs> David we're, Copperfield. <laughs> we're going to do a little... Uh, sort of swap out of jackets just to show a little bit of this look. So this okay. here is like a textured seasonal jacket. Right. This will work. Uh, here. Look, yeah. Oh, look at just this. Just go for the quick change. change. I'm just going for the quick change here. Look at the this? liner of that. That's so fun. I know. Look, it's paisley. really fun. So this here oh. would be very appropriate for business formal. Business formal. Okay. Black outlook. It's re actually really formal. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not wearing a tie. So that does sort of cash it up a little bit. But if I were to walk into a formal event, I would not feel underdressed yep. mm -hmm. at all. Okay, what if you're going to do smart casual? So smart casual, business casual, that's 
what, what we always say is you have permission to wear a casual piece. So whether that's like a dressy or upscale yes. sneaker or a really nice fitted uh, jean, okay. that works. But a casual piece doesn't mean all casual, a casual pieces. Exactly. Piece. And, and our, our rule of thumb too is, is show up wearing it and if you have to ditch it, you can. So if you're worried about, well, I wonder if a jacket's too dressy, uh -huh. wear it. Okay. And worst case scenario, drape it on the back of your chair. Yeah. If you're wondering, I wonder if people are gonna be wearing ties, wear a tie, and worst case scenario, run to the bathroom, take it off. Mm. Um, so you don't want to. You don't want to do be that with pants. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't want to be in a situation where you're walking in and you're underdressed. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say when you're in that sort of style right yeah. there, pocket square is that too much? Too much playfulness, or is oh, it like no. go for it? Go for the go for the yeah, pocket. Do whatever square. you want. Yeah. What are you gonna put on now? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. Let's do a holiday jacket. How about that? Okay, this is fun. So, so this is a good example of a holiday jacket that can have some use outside of just that one holiday party, that one time of year. Oh, yes. So fun. it's obviously like a green base. It's got some red pieces in there. Mm -hmm. Kenny wearing his his black pants and black shirt is obviously doing a more formal version of this holiday party look but just because you're doing something and you've done something maybe specifically for that holiday party doesn't mm -hmm. mean you can't wear it in other ways as well okay then what about cocktail before we go yes yeah, so cocktail would be um, probably one of the most vague that you'll ever hear mm -hmm. the the thing about cocktail would be you you could potentially wear jeans to something that has casual in the name since it's you're opening the door to the idea of casual, mm -hmm. cocktail is not jeans. Okay. No jeans, no shorts. You want to wear slacks, but you can wear like a mix and match, bottom and top. Okay. Or uh, a statement jacket, something like that. That's going to be great all day long. Absolutely, you have to wear a collar if you're a gentleman. Got to wear a collar. If you're, if you're wondering about it, just wear a suit. Okay. Overdress because yeah. you can always you ditch can the always tie ditch or ditch always the jacket ditch it. If you okay, need and also you guys, I have to say, yeah, ben I was got just, these I was just, just going to model these off. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I really think like so many guys are wearing jeans for so many things, mm -hmm. and I think custom jeans is like the best gift idea. Yeah, it's a really it's a really nice way to take away some of the headache of jeans shopping. Yes. Nobody likes to go to the store and it's try jeans worst. on. It's the worst thing ever. It's so it is the worst. I, I start sweating knowing that I'm gonna go in to try on jeans. And I don't you gotta like wear the shoes that are already tied because you gotta be slipping them on and off. It's so irritating. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I will say, you guys, when I put these on for the first time after you got them back uh, being made, not one alteration. They fit perfectly they the That's second I put them on. So thank you guys You're welcome. so much. Good yeah, gift. Really appreciate Thanks, it. you guys. Of course. Good to thank see you. you. All right, to connect with the King Brothers or to schedule a fitting, we posted links on Twin Cities Live.